Hello and welcome to your in-depth horoscope forecast for week commencing the 6th of July for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. You can also now join me at Twitter at Horoscope Ace, chat to me direct, or join Elisa and I for our daily astrology and tarot show, video show on YouTube by seeing the link beneath this video. You can also grab your free daily horoscope by doing so. It's proving great fun and really popular. Now, as we come into this new week, the power of the penumbular lunar eclipse is pouring its energy into the back of this week. And it forged a very positive link with Ceres, which is very much to do with nurture in the caring sign of Pisces and also Uranus in the sign of Taurus. So we have a potential for growth that comes from this energy in Capricorn. It's about appreciating, I feel, the more practical side of the way we interact with people. Of course, the sun itself is in the sign of Cancer, but the eclipse in the sign of uh, Capricorn. So I think there's going to be quite a lot of, of energy about this week where we're wanting to make the most of our resources to refocus our efforts in a way which gives us some sense of tangible security, which then feeds into our sense of emotional well-being. But Venus and Mars go into a superb link, one which is going to last for pretty well the remainder of July. So if you are wanting to get your social situation reinvigorated, this can certainly help. Also, the Sun forges a beautiful link with Neptune in the second half of this week, asking us all to stay very much in touch with our intuition. And then Mercury in the sign of Cancer ends its retrograde as this week draws to a close. The 10-week journey of Mercury through the sign of Cancer is quite complex and it's basically asking us to express how we feel. So if there has been any cross wires or glitches, especially about a home-based business, technology, or perhaps within the family, I think as this week draws to a close, there is an opportunity to straighten these out. But there is also a quarter moon in Aries on Sunday, which squares up to the sun in the sign of Cancer. It's just saying that if we're a little bit impulsive and quick thinking as this week draws to a close, we could stub our proverbial toes a little bit. So it is important with all this Cancerian energy still around to stay very sensitive, stay attuned to the more spiritual side of things which comes through Neptune, but also embrace the more practical theme that does come through that eclipse. Your specific forecast Sagittarius sees that glorious link between Venus in your sector of relating and Mars in your sector of passion and self-expression. What's not to like? Well, of course, you do have the Sun and Mercury making their way through a part of your horoscope that's to do with transitions. So it's possible that something is making way in your life for something new. And those transitions are not always painless. And if you are grappling with anything financial, particularly around your longer term future, to do with a mortgage, um, pension, savings, things that you may have had to tap into or consider, uh, perhaps due to COVID, then there is a lot to consider. The quarter moon, as this week draws to a close, and Mercury goes direct, which we can all let a sigh of relief out around, is actually in the bubbly fifth house for you. But it can also make you much more mindful of where you can't quite be a free spirit. Being a free spirit is very important to Sagittarians. And if you're in a relationship where you feel penned in, tethered, tied down, limited, or you feel that someone's controlling you, even subtly, it may be something that really gives you food for thought as this week draws to close. Thank you so much for having joined me. If you'd like to ascend above your zodiac sign and embrace serious astrology, why not check out my affordable range of astrology reports by clicking the link below. You can get 30% off if you order a year's forecast and a character analysis. 
or perhaps you'd like to have a one-to-one -one with me personally, please see my testimonials below. But for now, take care, stay safe, and good luck.